Hey friends, it's Deanna here and today we're sewing the Tuesday morning hoodie and it is such a cool, relaxed, kind of a uh, little bit bigger type of hoodie um, and it's perfect um, for scraps and um, just color blocking and all these things so I love it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, but before we get started, let me remind you of our fun fan giveaway where we give a $50 Alien Mag gift certificate every month to a lucky subscriber. And all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and comment under one of our videos. So if you're not subscribed, pause right now, subscribe to our channel, and comment below. Um, just let us know what your favorite pattern is. Let us know who you're sewing this hoodie for. Let us know what you like about our patterns. Let us know anything you want to let us know. Let us know your favorite color, um, whatever. We just want to hear from you and you will be entered for our giveaway. So that's exciting. So now we're going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, I'm making the Tuesday morning hoodie and this is an Ellie and Mike pattern. All the information is below, um, all the details. And um, I already cut out my pattern and cut out my pieces and we're going to get started, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is if you're doing pockets, we're going to attach our pocket to our bottom uh, piece, okay? So this is my bottom piece and I have it face up on my board and I'm going to grab my pocket I'm going to put it face up on top of that. So I've got my bottom pieces face up and I'm putting my pocket face up on top of it. So the back of my pocket is going to be touching the front. Oh wait, first I, before I do that though, before I attach it, I'm going to grab my pocket band. That's what it is. And I'm going to fold. So this is our first step. For, if you're doing pockets, I'm going to fold it wrong sides together. You know, with cotton lycra, sometimes it's so hard to tell which one is the right side and which one is the wrong side. But anyway, so now I've got it folded right, wrong sides together. I'm going to fold it in half and find the middle of it. You can just pin it or whatever. I just do a little notch, which is really just like a, a tiny little piece that I poke out, just cut out, just a tiny little piece so that I know where it's at. And then I'm gonna do the same thing from the side of my pocket, where my pocket's gonna go, um, my pocket opening. And I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna see where my half is right here. Because my band is just a tiny bit shorter than my pocket opening. And so I'm gonna find the middles I'm gonna meet the middles and pin at the middle and then I'm gonna stretch slightly to each side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sew that band on and that's gonna be the first thing we do for our pocket. My pins are getting very dull. Okay, so when I'm sewing that, I always put my band face up and I am making sure I'm grabbing the three layers of fabric, the two layers for my band and then the one layer for my pocket. And I'm pulling just slightly so that the band is stretched out just slightly to even out with my um, hood, um, my pocket side. I am using uh, my serger, but if you don't have a serger and you want to use a sewing machine, you can definitely do that. You just need to figure out a stretch stitch, whatever stretch stitch works best for the fabric you're using. So now that that's sewn on, we're going to open it up. And that was right sides together. Now we're going to open it up and steam. Steam that open. I always make sure that that uh, seam is going all one direction. And now I'm gonna go ahead and top stitch that edge right there. I am top stitching with my cover stitch, but you can use your cover stitch, you can use your sewing machine with a zigzag stitch or a double needle or anything like that would be work. And you also don't really have to top stitch if you don't want to top stitch. Sometimes I don't.
But on hoodies, I usually like the look of top stitch, so that's why I'm top stitching that one. Okay, so now I had already done it to my other side, so now my two sides are top stitched. Now I'm gonna do to the sides underneath the pockets, the sides that are at the bottom of the pockets. I'm folding a knit in one quarter of an inch. and steam and I'm gonna do the same for the other side that was the one side I'm gonna do the same for the other side one quarter of an inch and steam and then I'm gonna grab my pocket I'm gonna place it on top of my mid uh, bottom section okay so I got it on top of my bottom section and if we want to, to give you a perfect fit, you're going to fold it in half. You can match up and do a little notch at the bottom and at the top. And then you can fold the other piece, your bottom piece. And you can do the same thing, find the middles. That way you know exactly that it's going to be exactly in the middle. Or use your pattern piece but this works great too we're gonna match up those pit points that we just made okay and remember these sides are in one quarter of an inch one quarter of an inch so what we're gonna do is the top and the bottom we're just going to baste those on and basting just mean a long straight stitch that can be pulled off later once we sew it on because this is going to be sewn on the bottom is going to be sewn on to the waistband and the top is going to be sewn on to the middle section of your of your hoodie but these sides right here where you fold it a quarter inch we're going to top stitch those sides so you can use um, I, the same thing that you used for the top stitching of the pocket you can use your cover stitch you can use a zigzag stitch you can use your uh, double needle whatever that's gonna be so those uh, top stitch those pockets on there was one okay now the other side this cover stitch for a while and this is not one even an expensive one this is a very economical one but I really like it it's a brother um, it does the job well um, ooh, I don't know why I'm taking these off okay I'm gonna base those on again it's just a long straight stitch um, if your sewing machine doesn't have a basting stitch already a setting on it you can just set it got, grab your stitch and make it the longest uh, Make it the longest stitch. It's just to hold the fabric together. I'm not even knotting it. I'm just pulling it off. It really is just holding that fabric together right there. And then we're going to do the bottom as well. That way when I sew it on, my fabric doesn't move. And it doesn't end up sewing on straight. So that's what the uh, basting stitch is for. Okay, so now that those basting stitch is on, my pocket is, my bottom piece is ready. If you're not doing a pocket, this is where you come in. Okay, so we're gonna grab our middle piece. And the reason, the way you will know which one's the top and which one's the bottom is because the top will have these little in parts right here. And then the bottom is gonna be the same size as your top of your bottom piece so we're gonna lay it right sides together right on top of that 
other that middle piece so we're putting it together and I'm doing this and you're gonna do it for the front and the back obviously the back will not have a pocket so this is how the back from here on is what you will do exactly to the back of the bodice whoop that pin just went flying ah what is wrong with me I have buttery fingers today and we're going all the way we're gonna sew that line right there right sides together the uh, mid, the bottom pocket and the middle pocket together I mean the bottom bodice and the top bodice together bottom bodice and the middle bodice my goodness make sure when you get to the pocket it gets sewn in between both of them sure it's all lined up okay so now if you want well first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and steam that that seam so that way it lays nice and flat you can pull off that basting stitch you can, um, I'll probably just do that a little bit later just for the sake of time but you can go ahead and pull off that basting stitch make sure it's steamed all the way so now we got our metal section and our bottom section together my pocket um, so now if you want to you can go ahead and top stitch that right there I'm gonna go ahead and you know what I wanted this to be down because I'm gonna mush it down only because my uh, I know my thread on my top stitch is gray so I wanted it to be on the gray side I could change my thread but I don't want to so I am steaming my seams down towards the bottom towards the gray side because you can steam them up or down okay so I'm gonna go ahead and before I top stitch I'm gonna go ahead and attach my top section and then I'll top stitch okay so my top section here's my top section as you can see is the one that has the neck line and everything and I'm gonna face it right sides together right on top of that uh, middle section as you can see this is shorter and the top comes right to it because that's going to be part of your sleeve your arm side right there so we're going to scoot down want to make sure they're right sides together on top of each other and I'm going to go ahead and sew that together then I'm going to steam it up and I'm going to top stitch all this line and that line if you want to top stitch you can go ahead and top stitch you don't have to that's just preference so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then go ahead and do the same things, putting your bodice together on your back bodice. But, you know, obviously back bodice is in our pocket. So you just put in the, the bottom, middle and top bodice together. All right. So I finished putting my bodice together. This is my front bodice and I have my back bodice all done already and top stitched so now I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, back bodice on top of my front bodice right sides together so the right side of the front bodice face up and the wrong the other side of the front bot of the back bodice the right side of the bo back bodice on top right sides together And I'm going to meet him at the shoulders and we're going to sew those shoulder seams together. So 
their seams are together and then we're gonna we can open them up and steam them now what helps with waviness is to have the seams face the uh, same way you know how sometimes the seams tend to go one way or another way make them all lay flat the right way one way and that helps so our back and front are put together we're gonna put it to the side and work on our sleeves so here's my sleeve this is my middle piece so we're gonna put our middle piece right side up if you can see these little areas right here these little notches kind of go in shoot those little things that means that's the top of the sleeve because that's your arm size so we're gonna have grab the top of my sleeve and I put it right side on top of it which is my right side this is my right side right side on top of it okay this is why you use rotary cutters because I used scissors the other day and I don't know if you can tell it's like a jagged edge which is fine I just have to trim it and fix it but rotary cutter just gives you such a smooth cut I love it but sometimes I don't know if you do this so anyway on in my sewing room I don't have a TV and then I like to spend time with my husband in the evenings we watch TV sometimes um, so what I do I just lost another pen I'm gonna step on a pen I know it um, so what I do sometimes is I bring one of my mats like a small mat I have portable small little mat because I don't like to bring my big mat over to my living room every day so I grab my little mat and I have little like I just cut like so while we're watching TV I'll tape patterns or cut uh, fabric and so if I do my small mat my rug in my living room is so fluffy I can't rotary cutters are not as easy to do so I just cut it with scissors I'll, t I'll tell you one pattern takes me about five shows you know like okay not not quite five shows but um, it takes me a couple of uh, episodes before I, I cut up a whole pattern because I'm like watching TV and all the time I'm like, oh, I need to cut, 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 and then I'm watching, oh, I need to cut, and then cut, cut, cut. I don't know if you do that. But so I do scissors when I do it out. So, so there's like a big difference. It takes me 10 minutes to cut fabric on my mat with my rotary cutters, and I'm over there watching TV. It takes me about three shows, like an hour and a half to cut a pattern, uh, um... <laughs> A thing out I don't know what do you do do you do them all in your room do you do it while you watch TV do you get distracted by the TV I get distracted by the TV all the time do you get distracted by the TV what how do you when do you get cutting because see that's the thing like the cutting and the pattern putting together part is not my favorite part my favorite part is actually sewing so it's like eh, I'll just do it like here and there when I have time so that that's when I do it but anyway so now I put it together. I'm gonna go ahead and sew that side right there. We're gonna sew those two together, the raw edges. Tell me what you do. When do you cut those patterns? Or do you have somebody that does it for you? I can't wait till my son, I mean, he, he helps now. But he's only eight, so I'm very like, mm, you can't ruin my fabric, you know? I don't know. I don't trust him with my fabric scissors yet. And so um, maybe in a couple of years, he'll be, he'll do my cutting for me. Maybe I'll pay him a little bit of money to cut for me. But um, yeah, for now, I have to do it all my own. So I just steam that seam up. And I'm going to do the same for the bottom of the sleeve. I'm going to attach my bottom piece and you're gonna put it right sides on top look as you can see this is the bottom because see how much shorter it is so we got to turn it around and we got to face the middle of the the top of the bottom of the sleeve and the uh, bottom of the middle of the sleeve together they should match up just right and pin you know I should make a hoodie out of just scraps you know and like you know how you have all the different kind of scraps I wonder what that would look like kind of like a cool fun uh, art project and just grab like all the different like different scraps whatever you can find and every piece be something different wouldn't that be cool like kind of like artsy 
I mean, obviously they all kind of have to go together. That might be something fun to do. Or even for like an ugly Christmas sweater, you could do um, just stick with greens and reds or whatever and just, um, even it doesn't even have to be green and red, it's just all the different patterns. That would be like a really cool one. See, I'm already giving you ideas. Okay, so I'm, cut, I'm gonna sew that and now I'm going, after I do that, I'm going to top stitch the seams again and I'm going to do the same, same exact thing to the other sleeve. Um, so I'm, we're putting both sleeves together. So I'm going to do the same exact thing, same exact thing to the other sleeve as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then uh, we'll keep going. All right, so now that our sleeve is done, sewn to being sewn together, we're going to go ahead and grab it and put it, uh, fold it in half. And we're going to go all the way to the top and mark that top seam, top, 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 tippity, toppity, top, the top, top, top of your sleeve. We're going to open our hoodie face up at our arm side. This is where our shoulder seam is. These are our armpits. And we're going to match it first to the top where we marked that top. We're going to put it right at the seam, right sides together. So the right side of my sleeve is touching the right side of my sweater, my hoodie. And then we're gonna go down, and I'm gonna match the seams first. This seam right here, and then all the way down to the end. I'm gonna match the seam on the other side as well, so that way it matches, and then all the way down. You might have to pull on the sleeve just a tiny bit, because it's just a tiny bit smaller, so as you sew it on at the raw edges, so here's the raw edges, they're touching. You're gonna be just tugging a little bit on the, on the hoodie to even out your sleeve, okay? So we'll start at the bottom and we'll go slowly around the curve. First we'll go up to the, make sure the two seams are touching the right sides and that everything else is out of the way. First we'll go to the seam, the two seams of the where they meet, and then we're gonna go up to the shoulder, but we're gonna make sure that they're matching, that they're even out. So as you're going around that circle, not circle, but like that shoulder, you wanna take it slow and like, you know, even them out. Okay, so here I go to the next section. Now we're going down. So again, we wanna make sure they're even out, straight, raw edges together. I don't wanna miss any spots. Here we go. All the way down to that seam. Once that's attached, I advise you to steam it. So we're gonna open it wrong sides. This is the wrong side of my hoodie. I'm gonna make those seams go down. All of them going the same way. So if you're pointing them all up, the whole thing point up. That keeps it, gives it a more finished look and it keeps it from looking uh, wiggly. Wiggly. See, that makes your sleeve look so much better. Okay, so I already attached my other sleeve as well. So now we've got two sleeves attached. We're almost there. You're turning the bodice inside out and you're matching the right side of the front to the right side of the back. And we're gonna match up all those seams. Okay, so we're gonna match the armpit seam first. Can get rid of all these little pieces of fluff. The armpit seam first, right here. Then we're gonna match that middle seam and then all the way down at the bottom. Ow, I just pinched myself. Now we're gonna match that middle seam of the sleeve and we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the sleeve. And you're doing this right sides together, as you can see my seam right here. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and sew all the way down the side of my uh, hoodie. Trying to remove those pins so they don't fly out of my face. the same thing to the other side but I already did the same thing to the other side because I lost you there for a second and came back over I'm gonna open my sweater up my hoodie and I'm gonna turn it right side out and we're gonna move on to our bands so here's my sleeve Ooh. Coming along, I can't wait, it's so exciting. Here's my sleeve. And I'm gonna grab my cuff. Actually, let's put that sleeve to the side. We're gonna grab our cuff. And what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna fold it right sides together first. No, it is, yeah, wrong sides together, cause that's how it's gonna be. And now I'm gonna grab it and wrong sides, uh, right sides together, right sides together, I'm gonna saw that raw edge to make it one continuous circle. And the reason why I steamed it is to give it a memory crease, so now when I fold it down, I have that memory crease that I already made. It's not needed, but sometimes to me, I feel like it's helpful when you're doing a band to do it beforehand. That way it's, um, it's more helpful though when, when you're doing a neckband because neckbands are so small, so skinny, but uh, I do it with cuffs too. So now if you want to, you can quarter your cuff, but I'm just gonna half it. Just mark where the half is. So I just fold it down the middle. The seam is one half and the other one is the half. And so now I, with my sleeve, the seam is the half and then I'm gonna go out to the other side. Now my, my sleeve is right side out. So I'm gonna grab my cuff, I'm gonna fit it right into my sleeve and I'm gonna match up first that uh, seam to seam. And then I'm gonna match up over here where I marked my middle piece, my half. And obviously your cuff is gonna be smaller than your arm because you know the cuff kind of brings it together so you're gonna have to stretch your cuff to fit this is why it's important to have a four-way stretch for this especially for the cuffs and waistband and stuff like that that you have to stretch out you want to have a four-way stretch for that okay so now I'm pulling and matching it up Making sure that nothing else is coming underneath it. Just the three layers. Two layers of cuff and one layer of sleeve. My cuff is on. And what I want to do is, what I usually do to steam my cuff, I turn my sleeve inside out because I want all the seams, again, I want all the seams to go the right way. And if you steam it right side out, you can't tell. See how the seams kind of go up and down, they're kind of wavy. I want them all to be setting down the right way. See right now, some of it is sticking up and some of it is sticking down. If it does that, then it's not gonna be even. When you turn it around, the sleeve is gonna look like wavy. You don't want that look. You want it to be nice and smooth, so that's what steaming comes in and makes it nice and smooth. That was just a quick steam, but you can, you know, well, that's the seam right there. You can tell it's a lot smoother than just the wavy how it was earlier. So now we're gonna do the waistband. 
we're gonna grab our waistband and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did earlier with the arm band and I'm gonna fold it right sides uh, wrong sides together I'm sorry wrong sides together to give it a, a memory crease again you don't have to do this part first but I like to do it first before I put it on the round because I feel like it it makes it easier for me to turn once it's all one big circle okay and now I am going to grab my two short sides and I'm gonna put them right sides together and I'm gonna sew that short side together right sides together Now I am going to go ahead and fold it on that seam, on that um, memory fold we already did. See how much easier it is? It's just easy to fold it now. Make sure that all the ed raw edges are even and together. Give it another little steam for good measure. Now we have it folded in half because this is my seam right here. So we're gonna go up to the front, to the one side, and that's gonna be my front. So I'm gonna quarter it. That's my half right there. I feel like hair is going in my eyeball. Okay, so now we're gonna match the front and the back and go to the sides. And we're going to do the same thing for the um, bottom of the hoodie. We're going to match up the two side seams. We're going to go to the back and the front. I already have a notch in the front because that's where I notched to put my pocket on earlier, if you remember. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and grab that waistband. The back seam, I'm going to put it in the back part of my waistband of my uh, hoodie and I'm gonna match up the two sides to the sides to the side seams the front to the front notch that I made right by the pocket and then the other side I'm matching it right sides together matching the raw edges And um, one of my, uh, threads came undone on my serger as I was sewing. I don't know why. Does that happen to you? Tell me if that happens to you. I'm scared because this is an older serger. And, um, it, little things like this happen to it all the time. And I've gotten used to it on how to fix it quickly, as I say that I'm taking forever. But um, it makes me nervous because it makes me feel like tweezer things. It makes me nervous because it makes me feel like at any point it could give up on me, give up on me, and I don't want it to give up on me. What? Um, do you have any surgeries you recommend? I look into because I need to get a new surgery. I just, I just haven't, and I keep putting it off and putting it off. But I feel like there's only so much I can put off. I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and get a new surgery soon. Okay, so I'm gonna start at this one back seam and go all the way around. You're going to pull a little bit on the waistband, on the, yeah, on the hoodie. 
to match up the waistband because the waistband is usually it's bigger than the hoodie because it kind of brings it in. So you need to make sure the rough edges are together. Especially when you get to the front where you basted your pocket, make sure they're all together, all the seams. There's going to be four of them. Four pieces of fabric right there. One more quarter, we're almost there. Okay, our hoodie is almost done. Now, steam your uh, waistband. I will tell you again, this is another thing, make sure you can go ahead and pull that basting stitch out now that you did at the bottom. Okay, and then after you pull that, you can go ahead and steam. Make sure you're steaming them all going the same way. Okay, so just go ahead and steam that. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to the hood because our, our hoodie's done, but if there's no hood, it's not a hoodie. So we're gonna have to make a hoodie. It's just a pullover. Okay, so here's my hood and I have my two liners and my two outers. And I'm gonna grab them and put them right sides together. I still haven't decided, I think this is my liner. This black and this gray is my outer. I'm gonna do this to both, to the same to both of them. So I'm grabbing them, I'm laying it out right side up Here's my curve of my head. I'm gonna put it right, the other one right on top of it, right sides together. Matching them at that curve of the head, like this back crown area. And we're going to sew that area together. Again, I'm going to be doing this to the outer, to the liner, but you're doing it to the liner and the outer, both of them. But right now I'm just showing you on my liner right sides together and we're going to sew around that crown that's the back of the head the part that goes around the top and back If this is your first time sewing a hoodie, don't be frightened by how long it's taking because it's just, there's a lot of little steps to get to because you're doing the color blocking and all those things. It's not hard, it's just little steps. Okay, so now um, if you want to go ahead and steam your hood straight so that you don't have those waves at the top, again, you know, you just want the seams to match up, go the right way. Okay. So this is my liner, like I said, but we're going to fit, we're going to turn one of the hoods right sides out and the other one is inside out. No. Yeah. So they're touching right sides together. So like the black one, this is the right side of the black one and this is the right side of the gray and they're touching. And we're going to meet it first at the seam at the top, the top, top, tippity, top, top. Meet that seam, and we're gonna go down. This is the face seam, so we're gonna go down. We're going down the face. This is the side of the face, and then we're gonna go down the other side of the face, meeting right sides together. Right sides together, and we're gonna go ahead and sew those sides together. Not the neck, the bottom part for the neck. You leave that alone. We're just sewing the face part.
now that that face is sewn, see my hood is basically a hood now. We're going to turn it right side out. And you're going to tuck in your liner into your outer. So see how it's, I'm tucking it in because the gray is my outer. Just tucking it in there to make that hood. You know, and all these little bumps, you just need to make sure you steam them out. And you, if, if it's really bumpy, you may want to steam them out all the way before you sew it together. So that way you can make, put your hand in there and, and pull it out like that, you know, kind of give it a, a little help from the inside. There we go. So my hood is on. So now if you want to, you can go ahead and top stitch along that edge. And what I like to do, just for a little bit extra, I like to move it over a little bit. So that way the black shows a little bit, like the other color, the inside color shows a little bit when I top stitch. I don't know why. I just think it like gives it a cool look. Especially like if I do stripes, I love doing that because I feel like then the stripes show and it is so cool. So if you want to top stitch around the edge of the face, you can do so. Sew a machine, stretch stitch, um, cover stitch, double needle. stitched and now what we're going to do to uh, before we attach the hood is we're going to grab our hood and the other lap is two inches which means sorry I'm cutting all these hairs off okay which means that we're going to overlap each here's my fronts and an overlap it comes overlapped right here like this so that way it's not like gapped open when you see them together, it kind of has a little bit of an overlap. So we're gonna overlap an inch each, which equal will equal out to two inches. So here's one, and here's another one. So what we're gonna do is, where is my little ruler? We'll use this one, just a regular ruler. So we're gonna measure one inch, okay? And here it ends my inch, so I'm gonna overlap that. I'm gonna put it right on top of that inch. You're taking two and you're essentially taking two inches of your um, hoodie because they're one inch on each piece is overlapping, but you're really only overlapping it one inch right there. And we're gonna go ahead and baste that overlap. Again, basting just means a long stretch that you can pull out later. That way it doesn't move out of the way for you when you're trying to hook it on. So it is basted. As you can see, it's kind of a wavy stitch, but it doesn't matter. It's just basted on. And we're gonna go and here's my front. So we're just gonna mark that front. The front is gonna be like in between the two of them. So it's like half an inch right there. If that makes any sense. This is my back. We're going to attach it on like a waistband now. I mean, a waistband, a neckband. It's much easier than trying to do the guessing work. We're going to match the front and the back and go to the sides. And those are going to be my sides of my hood, where my hoods are going to attach to the side. You got to make sure the two raw edges, the liner and the outer are together. And now I'm going to grab my top, my hoodie, and I'm going to put it right, we're going to find a quarter. So I'm going to grab my two shoulder seams and I'm going to go to the front notch. Grab my two shoulder seams, we're going to go to the back notch. Grab my front and back and we're going to go to one side. 
and notch. And we're gonna go to the other side. Those, your shoulder seams are not your quarters, so don't go by your shoulder seams. You got a quarter, okay? So now we're gonna put the hood and right sides are going to touch. So you gotta make sure that the front, which is the lower part, is matched up to the front of the hood right here where we made that front piece. I'm gonna clip it right side of the hood is matching with the right side of the hoodie. Okay, and then we're gonna match up the next one, my quarter. And then the back of the hood is gonna match the back of the um, hoodie. And again, you're making sure that it's the right sides are touching. So it's like the hood is folded down. You're seeing the wrong side of the hood. Like this is the right side of the hoodie, the wrong side of the hood. So the right side of the hoodie is of the hood is touching the right side of the hoodie. See, they're touching each other, the right sides. And we're gonna start at the back. And I'm gonna sew all the way around. And we wanna make sure that they're touching, all the raw edges are touching. I just start a little bit and I go to the first quarter. We're gonna pull a little bit because the neck band is gonna match the hoodie, the hood. We gotta stretch the neck band just a little, the neck just a little bit to match the hood size. Okay? Make sure everything else is out of the way. When you get here to the middle, make sure both pieces are overlapped still where you basted. And that's where the basting comes in handy. Because if you would not baste it, then you would have to make sure that they're still overlapping. Almost there. our hood out and we are done dun, dun, dun. now you can pull that basting stitch out I have little pieces of basting stitch sticking out but once you pull them out they'll be gone you steam that neck down you see how the little basting stitch sticking out but it did its job it's overlapped see that awesomeness and my hoodie is done. How exciting. Look at how cute this is. I love it. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions about anything I did. Um, any questions at all, let me know. Let us know. If you're not part of our Facebook or Instagram page, please come join us. We want to see. We want you to see what everybody's making. And we want to see what you're making. Um, and all the information is below. If you're not subscribed, subscribe right now so you can be entered to win our giveaway. Um, <clears throat> comment and let us know what you like about this um, video. Let us know what fabrics you're going to be using for yours uh, and everything. Um, by the way, I used cotton lycra for my whole thing. And um, yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Comment, like, share, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.